Uh, why is retrieval augmented generation useful? Well, you augment the element with your own data. So again, if you have private data, which most enterprises do, then you know, chat GPT would not know about this data. So that's the, the main reason you start. But also, again, it reduces hallucination likelihood. It, the amount of hallucinations is smaller just because you give it the right facts to base its response on. So this retrieval step is really key. Reg outputs are also explainable. And what I mean by that is they come with citations. So you increase the user trust. We'll see that in the demo. The information is private. We don't need to train in RAG. Uh, you haven't seen any training or fine tuning step there in the architecture. So uh, you don't need to train. So it becomes the information is safe. It doesn't leak into any future LLM. And then lastly, and this is one of my favorite reasons to use RAG, is that it allows you to do a per person sort of permissioning or access control. So for example, if some of my documents are, are from the HR department, and I still want to use them in RAG, but only for the HR people or people who are, who are allowed to see the results, I can ask the retrieval engine in Victara to not include documents in the set of facts it retrieves unless the person issuing the query has permission for that. So that allows you to create responses that are customized to a certain level of permission, which is actually really, really helpful.